Hello, my name is Michael, and I am the Dungeon Master and Editor for the series you are currently listening to, known as The Bystanders. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to both Gwyn and Shady Cicada. They've allowed us to use their beautiful music for this little project of ours, so any love that you could give to them would be greatly appreciated, because otherwise, I will find you and I have a baseball bat. And with everything else out of the way, we can begin the episode. Okay, so last session, I talked about how uh, Sterling's balls, when she threw them, they landed <laughs> on the floor. Uh, floor. But actually, um, that was incorrect of me. I looked at her character sheet and I realized the uh, they actually return to her hand after she throws them. So she oh. still is equipped with both of them. Cool. Oh, she just juggles so them. So you aren't screwed. Yeah, but she's, is, did, you, did she break free? Uh, no, she has not. Good. Uh, she's she and a, I are chilling in the house. Yeah, she's she's a house. one also Overwatch me. character. Oh, you're in there too? No, yes, I'm unconscious. Seriously. Yeah, so. <laughs> He's I, been mad because she I killed you instead of him. Uh, you were unstable, though. All right. <laughs> oh, unstable. You're in high school. You'll be I'm fine. So <laughs> <sorry. laughs> unstable high school. I've heard Says that the one adult before. and guardian. Speaking Adults. of unstable, I don't uh, remember that Lloyd. thing. Give me the Dr. Thunder. Look, he's going to take his turn. He's things without a map. Okay? Give me the thunder. No, he didn't take his turn yet. All I did was heal. Oh, you healed. Fine, yeah, you started turn. your turn. You started your turn. Okay. Oh, my heart hurts. Why? I will finish what you started. I will finish. I will turn. finish what I started. There you go. It's time to grapple this bitch all who right. is holding on. Who is holding all of us hostage? You fail. But I'm about to die. That's a lie. Uh, roll. He just doesn't want you having nice things. No. Actually, I'm gonna use my inspiration. That was a pretty shitty roll. You trying to grapple hound up? Yeah. Okay. What did you roll? Eleven, but I did oh. without my mods. I, I, I thought I, I saw the from one. The, I thought you just crit failed. Well, from the way Michael is speaking, I have a feeling you're not going to be able to contest this. You used your inspiration and got a worse roll. That's, yes, that's pretty funny. Wait, but that, inspiration is, a, is advantage. So that's a D20. You get to keep the zest roll. Oh, okay, good. Inspiration will never harm you. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna use my inspiration again. Uh, let's see. Okay. I knew it was, I knew I was gonna have to go higher than that level. Alright, and then have you already tried to no you can't break through yet. Alright. Your body is still at zero, right? Yes, and because uh, I'm no longer yeah, Brenda able to drain so Brenda. You oh you can still drain Brenda. It's no no no, is she still I loaded? My wisdom. Is she still loaded? No. So loads are not affected. So no, you can't you can't go again. Right. And besides, mm -hmm. I ungrappled Brenda to oh, yeah. try to. Oh. So what regardless, I'm is you can we... grapple Brenda and suck blood out of her and regain hit points. Only thing is, um, she might die. Yeah. And you, you're not grappled on her now anyway. And you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, you can't. I could. Uh, but it's also. But I'm also saving her so I have no period yes. XP. Yeah. It's game. You don't have an action. That you can't do it right now anyway. Damien. Well, yes! Alright, first one was a warning shot! Your time here is up, bud! The first one. Do another melee barrage! <laughs> Sounds good. But uh, go ahead and you keep track shots. of how many direct hits and just announce at the end. Or I don't know his AC. You're so right, I'll just, just tell you what it is. Alright, first one is a 21. Direct hit. Next one is an 8. Miss. Next one is a 22. Direct. Alright, that's two. Next one is a 12. Uh, miss. And another 12. You got two direct hits. You got two direct hits. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Fine. Okay, so... Uh, 29 stand bludgeoning damage. 29, you say. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to, uh... You hit him. I assume. Well, I mean, you've done a melee barrage at this point, so I assume you're gonna scream your go 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 go. Go 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 go! All right, there you go. Uh, you hit him a couple times. Uh, the first one kind of just sinks into the stand. The other one fully like crunches into him. You beat through in reduction pretty considerably. <laughs> so like that bit in Pacific Rim where the side of the head comes off and so we're just chilling out there, tiny like. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it would be Brenda's turn, but it's Steve's turn. Steve, are you? You're currently conscious. But yeah, you're stuck I'm... in the hotel. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and make. You can always choose to fail. 
But make a strength saving throw. Okay. To try to escape. To break free, yeah. Uh, probably not. It's nine. Nope. Yeah. But, uh... I still have, like, an action. I'm do backing. I have an action? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh. well, I mean, you can, but I don't know what you could do. I'm it's, trying to think. If you want to attack, Oh, his stand like, isn't out there. I'm straight back in napping right now. No, nope. because yeah. he's unconscious, so it's... He wasn't. I was. Uh, but now Superstition Bite is... I don't you said you can... stands can't be in there with us. They like, can't be in there with you. Uh, you so can't, where it you can't you summon You can't them. summon it so away just, from you. So yeah. it's just... Yeah. You have to summon... You always summon it right next. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Is that Donovan. Is Polish Yes. Uh, uh, I guess I have nothing better to do, so I'm just gonna, uh, I guess do an Arcana check and try and figure out how this thing works. Okay, go ahead. Uh, roll with advantage since you've been, you're actually inside the ability. Good, because that was a two. We'll take the two. Okay! Uh, <laughs> stroke of luck. Oh, I, do, I could. I, do I want to use stroke of luck? Stroke of luck if you want. Oh, if you say stroke of luck, I'll just straight up read the description of it if you get an actual 20. Right? Well, stroke of luck is an automatic success. Do I want to use. It's an automatic I, critical success. Then I can't, oh. I can't do it again until we uh, do a long rest. It's I mean, already night. I don't think we're going to have much more of an issue. Fair enough. Uh, stroke of luck. Okay. Uh, on a direct hit, the victim must make a strength or power saving throw. Upon failure, the victim is put into the Heartbreak Hotel. When inside, they cannot summon or use their stand, and at the start of each of their turn, they may make a strength, not power save. Oh. Success means they are ejected 15 feet or uh, 5 meters out, but then they may take their turn as normal. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that's Whenever they power. hit specifically with a direct hit. Well, that didn't uh, really tell us anything we didn't already figure out, but oh well. Yeah. Alright. Unfortunate, but oh well. Pain. Yeah. I cannot believe it's strength and not power. I have a negative one strength. Steve! Don't worry, oh, we'll turn. Oh, yeah, break the oh, good! It's Hound Dog. I'm getting carried. Hound Dog is going to take a couple of swings at good old Damien. Alright. Superstition is not active on you, so that's going to be a 27 to hit. Yep, that hits. Oh, uh, go ahead and roll that save. This is such an annoying fight. Okay, uh, Remember, you get to add power to this. Yeah, so and uh, proficiency. That's uh, 14. Do I get absorbed? Nope. Oh, 22 yeah. stand bludgeoning. Okay, Woo! I'm still alive, but it's two attacks. Second attack. Tick. Just don't okay. die. It's still bad. Hey, hey, bad. This guy's really freaking annoying! Language. He has been using his stand a lot, though, so he may run out of energy. Yeah. I'm gonna back in the nap. Um, yeah, he's a power type, I wouldn't expect him to have that much energy. 25. Hit. Well, yep, he has hits. to use a point every single time he like. Every time he absorbs something. That's how it works, yep. And then uh, that's going to be. He's non lethal, keep that in mind. Uh, 19. I'm down. Okay. Uh, also make that save. How is he looking, by the way? Mm. Fifth. 15 to the save. Looks about half. Half? Oh. What, yeah. 15 to the save? You're yeah. successful, you're still out there. And that is wow. his turn. That's actively bad for me. Sterling is Dr. going Hero. to... Healer is in there. Yeah, yeah. Sterling... You, you can also choose to fail. If you, know you are stable, though. Sterling is... Okay, so who is in the hotel room? It's me! Plus three. Everyone Plus but Damien. Yeah. Everyone but Damien. You guys Wait, are... are you also... Yes, yes. his body's dead. He you're... hasn't been able to struggle. Are you unconscious? No, I'm, I'm up. I have five health. You're unconscious. So Sterling is going to try to bring you back. Um, yeah, that'll hit you. And Sterling is going to give you eight hit points to your back. Oh, up. he gets 39, huh? To be fair, Sterling did use a lot of uh, ripple points on that. That is to... true. Okay. He's also our... It was good for tank, one so. attack turn. To be fair, I'm it's eight. better to have a power type out there than, you know... How is he only halfway down? I've Wait, what are your like max hit points, you two? What? What are your max head points? You're playing My maximum game? is 65. 31. 22. 30. Okay, so you're by far our okay. tank. I'm Squish Man. The only problem is his AC is higher than mine. That's oh. Well, I'm on both ends. Uh, done in the hand. Monk's like, Barbarian. Like, where the Wait, no, he can't. Mm-hmm. The Damien's definitely Barbarian. <laughs> oh, hey, and then Ster- Sterling is... Sterling, where are we? Sterling is also going to try to break out, and she is unable to do that. 
God damn it. Jeez. Yeah, what? she's not rolling super hot. What is... She hasn't been this entire time. Oh, no, she hasn't been rolling I hot. feel like Steve is honestly closest to a warlock right now. He's got his bat, which is just melee Eldritch Blast, mm -hmm. damage-wise. So, like, Donovan. Interesting way of looking at that. Well... Other than the fact that it's nothing like check. Eldritch Blast, it's Eldritch Superstition Blast. Superstition so is like... Go ahead and make the try to get out. Strength saving throw. Um... Yeah, I can't do anything on the here, may as well. Maybe just a fighter. Woo! Yeah, oh, yeah, fire. um... That's a 17. Yep, you are out. You are ejected out, and you are able yeah, to... Yeah, we have out someone out. out there. I can't believe he's only a half. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah. Sterling also gave you... I completely forgot about this one. Sterling gave you... Ooh, Ten temporary hit points. That's Did better. Did you give Damien any? Yeah, uh, thirty-nine hit points. Don't yeah. be greedy. Is that always okay? Well, I was just wondering if that's a thing that's supposed to happen every time. I have no idea. Your name. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, top of the initiative order. Everybody reset their stuff. I don't cool. need to do my turn as normal. Oh wait, sorry. Right, yes, you, you do. do. That's go ahead. I'm completely <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> and you're ejected uh, five meters out, so you are not within melee distance. You can do what you'd like. Oh, you probably don't know. want to be within melee distance. The tree is looking kind of uh, bent over, and the only one there currently is Damien, but it wouldn't be too difficult to maneuver around him. He's kind of trying to talk with you. Alright. I have an idea. I'm going to have, uh, frick, I don't know. Can I make a construct and hit in the same turn? You can make a construct and hit in the same yeah, turn. Yeah, because it's wrong Alright, I see, I see, I see. I don't know, I don't know what would, what would be better. What kind of weapon is an axe? Uh, depends on what kind of axe you're using. A uh, lumber chopping kind. A lumber chopping. Uh, Very simple. Right. Well, it doesn't matter. You don't have anything. I just need to know. I just need to know if there's any directly there. Right. I probably uh, don't. But you can use a. I would say probably a great axe is the best kind of way. It's a melee, uh, two-handed simple weapon. It's one d twelve slashing. It looked like your range attack dealt quite a bit of damage, though. I haven't hit it yet. It is one d four plus four. That's maximum eight damage. Doesn't. You can create the axe. Yeah. Oh, for your range. Wait. My wait. range attack is one d four plus four. I chose the less, more accurate. Thing. You chose the more accurate. Except that hasn't helped me at all because I haven't hit anything. Okay. So I do have an idea. Yeah, I'm gonna make the great axe. You're gonna make the great axe shadow construct, and then you can attack either using yours, and uh, that's gonna be an attack using your strength. If you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the tree. Okay. okay. Are you proficient in that? H hitting trees. In a uh, great axe, a simple weapon. No, I'm not. I'm not okay. I'm not. Okay. And what's your strength? <laughs> nice negative one. Okay, so go ahead and roll and do that negative one. Yeah. I think I think you need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll 1d12 minus 1 damage. Okay. Same, well, same reason why I have to use my... Ah, oh, sorry. Head. Same reason why I have to use please, my stats for that. Please, yeah. Oh, uh, 10. Okay. That's, a that's right? minus 1? Yeah, I rolled an 11. The tree, just one little hit, would take it down. So, um, I will say, Hound Dog is standing right next to Damien right now. So, you're gonna have to be careful. In fair, after the rule of the death saves, you can risk it. <laughs> there we go. Wait, I'll, 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 this I'll is explain. a very, very large tree. Wait, I'm not I'm not even unstable yet. I'm still trying to speak. Oh. Uh, back of black, he reaches into like, the tree shadow. He just kind of, like, dies, like, blows his hands. Like, he just, like, takes it this, you know, big axe. It's like, a little unwieldy for him. And then just goes... Like, like, uh, like it's own like manga panel and everything. It's uh, uh very very close to falling over. Oh great. Thank you. And Riley. All right. Now that is your turn, correct? Yes. All right, Lloyd. Ah, finally. Finally. guess who has hit points again? Finally. Yeah. Uh, you can make your throw if you like. Finally, I feel my vitality coming back. Mr. Parker. <sighs> I'm going to attempt to break free. Go ahead, roll that strength, baby. Or power. Oh, no, no, no. Whichever one you do better with. No, 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 no. no, you said there's no power for. Oh, right, that's right. Strength. Yep, because you're inside the hotel. 18. 18. Yep, you are successfully ejected out of Heartbreak Hotel. All right, Lloyd's right. out. Okay, what do you want to do? For the first time in a while, two people are out. <laughs> yep, the tree is kind of wavering. Damien is still down, and this guy is. Uh, five minutes ago. I have well, taken action. Meanwhile, me and Sterling are just chilling in the house. Away from the How's it going? Tree. Tree. Um, you could use Master of Puppets. Um, you'd automatically succeed on the grapple check, and then you can move him up to hack your new speed. 
Uh, yes, I will move him so that he's like away from like a t- uh, tree falling. He may get an opportunity attack if they need to get him away. You do what? Why would he do In that case, it wouldn't even be like, worth it because if he gets a hit, he it means unstable and that defeats the purpose yeah. of taking him away from the tree. He does look a lot more focused on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um, He's not gonna instantly kill me. How close is how close is the tree from falling? Uh, the tree looks like it could you could just push Blow it over enough and it would fall. Like so, if I it is use master puppet and drag it down or gun. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Damien is um, unconscious though. So no, crush me, crush yes. my balls with a tree. But um, if, if you knock a giant tree on Damien, he may take massive damage and be killed instantly. Because it is a giant <laughs> tree. Here's the thing. Oh. I can I can hit it again. You can you can just move him out of the way. If I can get out of the tree, I can uh, If you if you move him, if yeah, Damien is not the in the area not, where the tree I meant would fall, the house he wouldn't find him. Alright. And if I use Master Puppet to move Damien, that's just gonna take my movement into consideration, or is it also gonna take my attack? If you use Master Puppet to move Damien, Damien's gonna have an opportunity to attack you then against Yeah, but it's probably the massive damage, isn't it? He doesn't look super focused on Damien right now. How he's about also looks focused on you? I, I highly yes. doubt he's gonna do 65 damage to me on an opportunity again. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, but it's then better than be him unstable. taking massive damage from the tree. If he gets hit, he'll instantly fail two death saves. I'm not unstable, that's, so I'm not making death saves. That's true. That's true. He'll just be put I'll, unstable. I'll be put unstable. Okay. I think it's worth the risk. I think it's worth the risk. Jeez. All right, I'm going to. But if he even attacks me. I'm going to That's move Master. I'm going to have Master Puppets like appear underneath Damien. Okay. And yeah. have it like, right. you know, you know, like that one episode of Tom and Jerry where the ants are moving. Uh, <laughs> can I make a recommendation? Mm-hmm. You could roll stealth to see if you can do it without him noticing. You could Facts. Do I Go ahead and roll that. stealth. Uh, is that just going to be my dexterity, or, is it, or can I use my precision? You can use a precision if you want. All right, cool. And I am proficient in stealth as well. Uh, that's going to be 16. 16, okay. That does not be the 23. Damn. All right. He notices his wisdom is high too? Uh, his, he has expertise in perception. Why? <laughs> um, however, you're able to get him away. Damien, uh, he's not able to get a swing at Damien. So oh, okay. Damien is taken away without that. Uh, he is very angry now. Okay. So that's... Louis. Damien in his subconscious Wait. is also very angry. Damien, it's your turn. I'm go- I can't do anything. Do. I'm going to move oh, okay. towards the tree next to Donovan. Okay. Uh, yeah, you and your stand have different movement actions, so you can do that. Uh, Damien, that's Damien's turn. And did I take Damien, my action to use my stand to move him? Yes. Okay. That's a gra- it's technically a grapple check, which takes him in there. Does your stand have like a human or is it just the chains? It's just the chains. That's what I thought. Yeah. Think of like uh, Hermit Purple. Yeah. Okay, uh, Damien. I can't do it again. Yep, that's right. Brenda, can't do anything. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> you need to make marks on your initiative chart for who's down. Brenda, yeah, I might as well. You can stop I, asking people do what, what do, they're doing. Do what I just say. Well, he's dead. He's dead. I am yeah. going to try and break free. I want to break free. I want to break free. Yes, he has passed away. Ah, uh-huh, passed away. You're welcome for that. Uh, I can do. It. So that's just strength. Where's brown dog? Uh, strength saving throw. I don't know what the brown dog is. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm proficient in dex and intelligence, but I'm... So in that case, gone. it is... Da, 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 da. Try and be upstairs. Uh, 12. 12? Nope, you are not successful. I am going to use the rest of my action to have a lengthy conversation with Sterling about... Uh, what are you learning? Chemistry. Chemistry. No. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, the history of... Something. Sterling is... Oh. Sterling is shockingly not having a great time in this conversation because he's a little focused on something else. Um, is there anything I can help you with right now? Because I have nothing better to do. Hound Dog notices Lloyd. Okay. Hound Dog is going to move towards Lloyd. Hound Dog, the slasher, will move towards Lloyd. Uh, Hound Dog is going to move toward. Well, actually, Hound Dog is. My movement is. Oh, wait, no, his movement is impaired because Damien is not in Yep, my ability is gone. Um, actually, yeah. the Hound Dog is going to move toward Damien. Uh, and he's going to reach down and touch Damien as one of his attacks, and Damien automatically tries to save, and is put into Harvick. Great! My that, third time being in the hotel! That works in our favor! It does! Because we can knock the tree on him. 
And uh, he's actually going to pick up a rock and he's just going to try to chuck it at uh, Donovan Halen. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, if he crit fails, he hits the tree and it falls on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a crit fail. Damn. Well, that would be really funny, though. That would be really funny. Um, I don't think a. I don't think an 11 hits. Nope. Nope. Okay. He zipped his ass, yeah. He's like, dang it. Uh, Sterling is going to use her ball throw Damien, uh, fix him up. That's gonna be 4 HP. Yeah! Yeah! Don't forget to touch it. Donovan. What? Currently, you two are the only ones out. Hound Dog is currently sitting in the perfect spot for you to drop the tree on him. Can Would I you like himself? to do so? Can I give him Abs- advantage? Can I help him? Yeah, you can, well, no, yeah, no, you have yeah, to do that on your turn. Aww. All right, baby. And if I if I'd get anything lower than a ten, I'm gonna use an inspiration. Uh, Fair. So uh, back I'm gonna wield this great axe for the second time, and I'm gonna use an inspiration to reroll that too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use another inspiration. <laughs> And roll a seven and roll a sixteen. That is adequate. Okay. Um. So Hound Dog <laughs> is gonna roll a Dex save and fail. So he's gonna take full damage. Let me roll ten d ten. Ten d ten. I rolled two twos in a row. By the well, way. Well, technically it's twenty d ten. So I need to double this. Technically. Yeah, that would have killed Damien. <laughs> really? Anyways, so well, uh, I mean, there's a chance. I, I don't really feel 20. clever about this solution since Michael dangled it in front of our face for about ten rounds. Well, but, you know. I, well I'm the one who hit the tree first, so I feel cool about it. Let me have this, please. I haven't done anything this whole this whole thing. Let me have <laughs> all right, this, all right, please. Let's be honest. What were we gonna do when you we stuck us into the? We all come behind again. Donovan again. Huh? You can do it, buddy. You got this. What, what are we gonna find us in use, Damien? Well, this is kind of lame. That's a direct hit dealing. Shh. This deals 110 bludgeoning damage. Is that massive damage? That's a lot. It's not. Donovan? Oh. Is he not dead? <laughs> no, he's unco- He's very, very <laughs> unconscious and not stable. Are we all out then? Uh, yeah, as soon as he gets hit, you hear... <sighs> ah, damn! That fucking sucks. And then... Pop, 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 pop. Y'all, uh, instantly... Boom, fly out above the trees, um, and a lot of you land in the branches and are restrained, but you're able to just spend an action and just pretty easily. Wait, can I can I, I do one more thing? I'm gonna tip my fedora, put away the axe. Timber. <laughs> so dumb. That's so dumb for many that's reasons. So dumb, but that's so Donovan. Yes. Anyway, I'm gonna read the note now. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so you dropped the tree on Hound Dog, and Brenda is still currently unconscious. So how do you guys want to deal with that? Well, hmm. Let's Damien is gonna walk up to Hound Dog and just kick him once. <laughs> Hound Dog is not currently, like buried like in the inside. You'd have to like oh. rip branches of open. He it. does. It's okay. worth it. <laughs> Hound Dog is. Well, let me... He uses feet of power, moves the tree aside, and kicks him once. <laughs> let me. Uh, not to kill him, but just he can fail two death saves. <laughs> okay, so good news and bad news. He bad is... news is he actually uh, is stable. Good news is Damien runs up and. Kicks him. Making <laughs> him instantly go unstable again. <laughs> if we're uh, not careful, if we're not careful, right now he ain't nothing but the hound dog. If we keep this up, he won't be ain't nothing. <laughs> now, speaking of, um, you guys want to help him? Help you him? You want to stabilize him? Is, nah, is Brenda stable? Brenda is stable, yes. Okay. You Damien don't. is not going to stabilize him. Okay, he dies. No, no, no. no hold on, hold on. We can let someone else do it, yeah, maybe, no. but Damien's not going to. I'm going to let the others speak. I'm going to let the others speak like first. To stabilize. You, you want Brenda. I want someone. Hey, Hound I don't Dog, want... Hound Dog is very, very large. She'd probably get a lot more energy from him. Let, let the others speak. I'm going to let the others speak before I make a permanent decision. Do you have to do one of them? Uh, he, he's probably going to do one of them. It's not that I have to. It's that I don't want to be stuck at level four. But also, um, I kind of do need... I, like sustenance as a vampire. I want to maybe. I I want to find out more from both of them. I want to question both of them. I I don't I don't think we can risk Hound Dog being alive still. <laughs> but he there's obviously some more like Brenda seems like the more competent person. But Hound Dog competent, but listen. he's very scary. That fight was difficult. Listen, we were given an out. Brenda, I totally agree. But also there was there must have been a reason he was there. And if we kill him, we'll never know. Can you ca- stop calling it out? I not wanted and then made yourself known. What? 
I'm having a stroke. Anyway, okay. let's go hound dog. Yes, you set it up, but he was like, by the way, the tree... By the way, the tree... By the way, the tree is still... <laughs> Kyle, are you a skipping record or something? What's going on? There? <laughs> right. Well, since the general... Since the majority of the consistence is to kill hound dog... I'm I say to, we kill him. I'm going to drain him. Okay. All the way. That's 15 energy. Let's hope they don't try to kill their own brain. Also, like, Dam- Dam- Damien is not... He he doesn't like that, but he's also very angry and kind of just turns a blind eye for the moment. Okay. All right, I'm at Brenda, 53. Uh, not Brenda. Sterling uh, is able to breathe, and not quite as quickly as if it were a stand energy thing, but uh, she's very slowly able to bring you all back to maximum hit points. Sick. Everyone Ooh. bring back your stand energy, all that good stuff. That's very nice. All right. Well, well, we're to, is that energy, equivalent to a long back. rest? Or? Uh, uh, it's not equivalent to a long rest. You get all your hit points back and okay. all... Uh, it's equivalent to a short rest. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Stuart. But without using our oh, my dying. bruise is that's, still there. Do like kind of cool. like fade away a little. Okay, my bruises on my neck, on my face, and stuff. Yes, yes, you actually. Um, thank you, thank you. Stuart. And you notice that you actually are more receptive to it, and you heal easier. Yeah. Brenda attempts to come toward you to heal you as well. <laughs> what do you not? Right, right. I will, I I need to take note of that. Uh, uh, so she does not. <laughs> Brenda instantly kills Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> not Brenda Sterling. Yeah. Uh, my natural oh, regeneration yeah, will like heal me up to max, anyways. Uh, Over time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to point out that combat took uh, with Donovan's turn seven rounds. That was seven rounds of D and D combat. Wow, me. that's a lot. Mm-hmm. I've never it was, had it, combat last that it long. It sucked because most of our party was incapacitated for the majority of the combat. I would have gone a little bit mm-hmm. quicker if I could hit a single ranged attack. I could have. Or if he didn't two shot all of us. If it was any, if the level was any higher, there would have been player death. Yeah, probably. probably. Anyway, if he didn't pull his punches, there would have been player death. Yeah. He wasn't interested in killing all of you, so that's yeah. probably what saved you. That's they, not, that's another reason why I wish we wouldn't have killed him. Holy shit. Like, Anyways, obviously there's a reason he didn't want to kill us, and. I, get, I mean, we'll never know now. Lloyd but. wanted to kill him, and Damien was angry, so he turned a blind eye. That's fine. Anyways. Okay. So. Guys. Um, you heal. And in the wreckage, you find the old tire. But it doesn't matter, because you've already fished up a note. So you have a note with you. All right, guys. I... Are we just going to leave the Swedish bitch here? Yeah, I'd like to point say. out, she is on the ground. Uh, she's currently stable. Do you guys want to restrain her or anything? I can, um, kinda I can restrain her with... Stand around um, with the black over your eyes, just... Crossed arms, just I surrounding can, her. We could T-pose around her for an hour. <laughs> I can restrain her with Master of Puppets. And, we can just uh, throw her up in a tree. That's true, you can restrain we her. We could Master just throw up on her. <laughs> this, 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 Let's this, not do that. <laughs> one <laughs> acid damage. This is the only tree. Does anyone have any contact with, with What are you Dr. talking a? about? We fell into trees when we got launched out. Yeah, does we did. Does anyone have contact with Doctor? Oh, you guys, you guys all have. Yeah, we all have pagers. You, er, well, <laughs> no, <laughs> you two have pagers. You call, all have call. his phone number, so you can call him. I don't get it. Do I need to take my mask off to show you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, anyways it'd probably be in our best interest to see if we should take Brenda in for questioning. Yeah. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Any- Damien hoists Brenda over his shoulder. We have okay. to make sure to roll she can't for that breathe. again because no. I did when I did it to Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it acrobatics or what? Uh, athletics. Athletics. Cool. Oh boy. Just make Brenda's sure that- around the same weight as Steve. Well, luckily for you, I got a twenty-seven. Oh, you yeah. didn't roll an eight this what? time. Hoisted her up. Easy. Just uh, <laughs> make sure if she wakes up or anything, just knock her out immediately. Anyways. Trust me, I can handle that. Anyways, Anyways Kyle, uh, you didn't roll. He an grabs eight. her by the legs and just. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't roll an eight this time. Shut up! <laughs> I don't. I, what are you talking about? Half my melee barrages weren't three. All right, Donovan Halen about. points his pistol to the sky and fires it to get your attention. I get? found a note in the tire. That's oh. neat. That's probably what it was about. Anyways. Yes. <laughs> okay. You know, if it's more know. coordinates, I'm punching someone. I have no, I haven't read it yet. Steve steps away from Damien. <laughs> Hold on. Let me read this. Uh, wait. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> Tough time. <laughs> What is this? I don't know. I <laughs> it sounds like a sheet of paper. <laughs> okay. Um. 
So you all open the note and read it. It's printed in all capital letters in the same font that was found in the dead person's mouth. It says on the note, After this job, you will report to 1465 Rodney Street to assist in shipment of valuable goods. You are encouraged to kill any soft skins you encounter at any point. May our spirits create a brighter path. T-B-H. To be honest. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I knew you were going to make that joke. Sounds, I was writing it up, and I was like, oh, we're, far, we're fighting so Fallout 4 ghouls. It sounds very, very similar to, um, I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know. It sounds very similar to the, uh, to the hit on the museum. Do, were we intended to get this note, or were they intended to get this note? I, so I don't think they were intended. Because I'm not sure I'm keen on the whole idea of killing anyone who gets in our way. Well, they know I use lotion. He lo- looks at Lloyd. If it's directed towards them, they know I use lotion. Anyways. I, I like... Anyway! I like having breathable skin, okay? I trust this wholeheartedly we're going to go. Okay, uh, we should do you want me to report read to out the note a. one more time? Please. To everybody? I one more time. Wait, can you okay. write it down and just give us an actual note? You could also just... Say it again. TBH, I know. I will write it down in a bit. After this job, you will report to 1465 Rodney Street to assist in shipment of valuable goods. You are encouraged to kill any soft skins you encounter at any point. May our spirits create a brighter path, TBH. I don't think we know anyone with those initials, nor have we heard that phrase before. Though, being encouraged to kill people in our path was something that... Clementine was talking yeah. about. Yeah, it sounds very similar to the hit. T B T B H Benny L Tun. No, yo, that's not even close. That's a joke, lads. That's T B H to Carl Weezer. Oh my God, guys, to cock. No, we have no idea. Yeah. Okay. I trust this whole There's Let's a go. subtle hint you're trying to drop to <laughs> us. We're all too dense to get it. Don't so. worry about it. The big okay. hay. <laughs> Thanks. No. I will say you guys don't have all the information regarding this we yet. So definitely this, don't. Crazy. I know who the BBG is. <laughs> can, I, can I roll for history? Just to see if there's anything I can re- recall. You can... No. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a shot. That'd be... Uh, that'd... That'd be one if, hell if of a recollection. A um, because there's a chance you could roll a nat 20, and I don't want to risk that, <laughs> yeah. because you would not know the information. What's yeah. up? Can I roll an investigation check on Brenda and uh, Hound Dog's bodies to see if they were carrying anything on them that could be useful? Um, well, you find their wallets. Hound Dog uh, actually isn't wearing a whole lot underneath. They're wearing a pair of shorts that say Boom Pow on each ass cheek. And Damien um, takes the shorts. Oh, well, he's just <laughs> naked and covered in dog skin. He's dead. He's a shriveled corpse, <laughs> just covered in dog skins. Shriveled? Yeah, the police are going to wonder what's oh, right, happened yeah. here. Why but I've got some sick ass shorts now. Anyway, Why was he just wearing those? So he's have... wearing them underneath like the dog skins yeah. and all that. But still, can you wash that out before you get near me with that? Yes. Anyways. That's oddly specific. Uh, anything else? Um, you find Brenda's wallet. Don't look I it. want it. I want it. I'm, lo- I'm going to look through it first. But See if there's any information or anything in there. I hate that. Um, if, she has, if she has out, a library card here. Her name is Brenda Yuri. She does, in fact, have a library card. I take it. Uh, she is uh, sex female, age no. 30. 30. Shut 30. up. <laughs> she is 30 years old. Um, Brenda Yuri. I Brenda see. Yuri. It's near. We already knew that. I I just didn't remember. Yeah. Bro. Yep. Oh. Oh. Hope that caught on the mic. That was me cracking my neck both ways. Um, Dang. But uh, you also find about two hundred dollars in there. Nothing. Nothing else. Super special. Okay. Damien's on hard times. He'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh. So there's nothing like. No. No clues there. All right. All right. And I think. Uh. What's the What's the time on the recording? Uh, we just hit 35. All right, I oh, think wow. we're going to, for the first time in the history of the podcast, take a break and come back to the episode in just a few minutes. All right. So oh, food time. time. Okay, we're back from the break. So, basically, I thought guys, we were the bystanders. Oh, shut up, Aiden. All right, well, that's the end of the episode. I hope that y'all know. <laughs> this is the end of the series. I hope you enjoyed the Tabletop Travesty. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Kyle will be running the show from here on out. Good luck with my limited DM notes and knowledge. Thank you. <laughs> Damien wins. Oh, no. <laughs> Good. The series end. All right, girl. I'll catch Damien you obtains heaven. <coughs> uh oh. <laughs> the world collapses in on itself. Ow. The end.
Yo. Part three be like, I'm okay, I'm going to go Requiem. See Moon oh. Squared. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. You okay? Garlic bread just hit the back of my throat. Ow. Garlic bread hits different. Anyway, <laughs> Damien's about to beat someone to death. Is it me? I hope it's me. It could be you. It could be me. It are you even? Be me. Are you ready for one d twelve plus eight bludgeoning damage? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. You guys got the note. You are in the. Cool. I assume you get in the conversion van and start to head out. Um, yep. It just feels so funny. Damien's to call still it a just conversion van. Damien's just carrying Brenda. Okay. Do you? Well, now that you guys are around near the van, do you want to like set her down and like strap her in? Like, what do you? What do you think about doing? I'll just use Master of Puppets as like. Keep her on the ground. Restrainer. Fair yeah. enough. Yep. Yeah. What's she gonna do? Wake up? She could. Damien would knock her right out again. He'd just kick her head. You know. Just yeah. See, Damien's just got it. Damien's just gonna rest with his foot right next to her head as okay. she uh, sleeps peacefully. Yep. Steve she continues just... to sleep peacefully. Good. Peacefully. Steve just sits down and stares at her. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you do also find her backpack. I completely forgot to mention. Oh, let's look through that. In her backpack, um, there's no school supplies for some reason. Oh. Um, for some reason. For some reason. Uh, there is a set of pliers, a butane torch, uh, as well as a small Ziploc bag containing what appears to be an entire set of human teeth. Epic. Great. Um, Damien takes the butane torch with a grin and just kind of is going to keep that. Okay, good to know. Hold on, besides the teeth and the torch, what else was in there? Mm. Pliers. Teeth, torch, set of pliers, um, and a large, what you now know is a body bag. A oh, body sweet. bag was inside of her backpack. It was folded up real, it's not like a very good body bag. And it's it, it was up. not filled then. I finally have no, a... No, no, no. <laughs> okay. What? I finally have a new sleeping bag. <laughs> it's an organiz it's an organization. <laughs> It's an Organization 13 robe, you know, with the on-demand zipper body bag. You know that the good joke, I made, <laughs> the one good joke I made in the first session. I think you stole it anyway. Um, no, I didn't. Oh, oh I no, I remember it because you did say it in the first session. Yeah, You're correct. Okay, so the body bag also has some stains inside of it. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Uh, so, this can only be a good sign. Uh, we need to read. We need to have an intervention about what you think a good sign is. I trust everything wholeheartedly and completely from the start. Yeah. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> also, within each of their, um, fucking hell, let me grab my shit here. Inside each of their pockets, within his booty shorts and within her, uh, pocket, you find two coins. That's unrealistic. Damien, you see, no, are, that, are that's coins? unrealistic. Uh, she has girls pockets. pants down in pockets. That's completely unrealistic. Yeah, exactly. Fair enough. They're very small. They, they sometimes have very small pockets. Just, you grab, just, coin just grab the coin. She's wearing goddamn blue oh, jeans. Let's just <laughs> fucking go with it. Uh, are they the same coins that we found previously? No. They are similar in design, but oh, right. uh, they're yeah, different they're... in color. What color? They have. I want to uh, differentiate them in my inventory. They are a, uh, a nice uh, darkish, like a dark gray uh, silver. All right. It's like a dull like silver. Silver coin. Odd. And, All right, um, Damien takes those two. So I have four wine tokens and two silver coins. It appears to be on one side is a um, tiny thing of what appears to be some sort of viral structure. Like, you know what a virus looks like? Yeah. Um, yes. It's that on one side of it. Mm. And then on the other side is a small mammal. If anyone wants to try to make a nature check to see if they can figure out what I'm proficient in Let me see if I can see this. Nope. Wow. <laughs> <that's right. laughs> I'm, I'm proficient in I'm all 19 okay, as well. Proficient in nature sounds good. And if anyone is that wants intelligence? Uh, uh, wisdom. Okay. This smells like a This smells like a Would a history back. check also work? Uh, no. See so if I've seen it in any, like, textbooks or anything? No, but you can assist him. Okay, I'll assist him. Okay. Don't roll advantage. Okay, uh, that's going to be uh, 17. Okay. It is a small mammal, some sort of shrew. You're not exactly what kind of mammal it is. You don't know why it's significant. You don't know the exact species, but you have the two coins. Okay. Interesting. All right, shrew token then. I have wine tokens and shrew tokens. Very shrewd of you. Damien is going to go to the arcade. <laughs> uh, uh, real quick, Donald <coughs> Halen's going to... Crouch down next to the grass and put his hand up. Just start breathing a little. We are in a van. I'm reaching out, dipstick. Uh, okay. I've seen this before. You get in the van. Yeah. Uh, you 
breathe real hard and you try really hard, you're able to make one blade of grass grow all the way, like, like much, much higher than the others, but nothing else really. Hmm. Nice. So you're able to use a That's little bit. That's kind of neat. You're able to use yeah. a little bit, but not a lot. So is that just like you breathing, or what is Wait, that? does that mean uh, he could essentially ensnare people with grass? Life not life. currently. It's a singular blade Well, I meant grass. like eventually. Life electricity. Maybe. Life. Is that what it's called? Uh, hmm. I think so. I'm, ah, not I'm not good with electricity. I was thinking that could cool. be useful for my bugs. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Um. Overcharge, overcharge the bugs. I was thinking more like infinite food, but sure. Oh. Send a pass overdrive onto one, onto a cockroach. I feel oh. like it would die. Well, a cockroach <laughs> probably wouldn't. No, if it can pass particular. through a frog, it can pass No, through but a he would die. Let's get in the van. You're giving all your homo to a cockroach. Let's get in the van. <laughs> Let's we've, get in the van. We've been in the van. You went back in time. It's true. I did do that. Anyways, I'm in the shotgun seat again. Yep, uh, shotgun seat. And Sterling begins to talk to you and coach you. And she's like, I noticed that you were able to go grow the blade of grass. That's really good. That's a step forward. Uh, sure, progress. progress. What you just say? You say progress. More like progress! That was not in character, by the way. Okay. Sterling is another Redditor? No, she's not. Sterling. Fortune. She's friends easily. with. Sterling's uh, on Tumblr. She's friends oh, with that, all views oh. on Reddit. No. Um, Sterling is actually Pookie Cho. Sterling runs the Pookie Cho account. That's. Is that canon? Yep. Nice! What is Pookie Cho? That's a funny Tumblr man. Beautiful, beautiful, very wise person <laughs> on Tumblr. Um, yeah, so you guys drive for a while. Dr. A gives a call. Sterling, uh, while driving, picks up the phone. Not a very good role model. Uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's dangerous, Damien Shaw. Oh, it was a lot of... It was a lot of <laughs> trouble. Uh, that... Okay, I'm driving. I'm gonna let you talk to Donovan. I... Oh, um, hi, Dr. A. Uh, hello. I trust that everything went okay? No. Uh, we... It hurt a lot. There was a lot of punching... The guy had a brick stand, I think he called it the Heartbreak Hotel. You um, counted so, something there? Yeah, two things, actually. Oh, I thought he was just hovering the cold can on, like, out of nothing, like, cool, he has the force. Um, <laughs> yes, you uh, calling Dr. A that? <laughs> no, uh, stand user by the name of Hound Dog and uh, Brenda from that Stevie encounter while he was at the school. Hmm. Is everyone with you okay? Well, we are now. I've been better! Well, thanks, thanks to thanks to uh, my Ster- pride is ruined. ruined thanks it. to Sterling and her balls, uh, we were actually able to get back to f- her big yeah. balls. Thanks Damn, to- that just got bigger balls than me. <laughs> that was Damien. He says hi. Um, I, uh, thanks, for some thanks, women, that's uh, thanks true. to Sterling, we're all uh, back in oh shape, not tip top shape. Out of character, real quick, I forgot to let you guys know. We officially rolled for Damien's cock size. It's eleven mm. and a half inches. <laughs> so you just like pass out whenever you like give boobs. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> he's a big beefy guy. He's got a lot of blood. What did you roll, by the way? A D12? He doesn't need to use his legs. Um, what did we do? A D twelve. I, I think. You rolled yeah, a D twelve, and a, then you rolled a D ten. And then I rolled a D ten for the decimal. All right. Wow. Because I wanted, I wanted to compare it with Car- Carl's, and Michael's like, "Oh, Carl's is also eleven. And I'm like, "What's his?" What what's the decimal? He goes zero, that? and I go. I'm rolling decimal. We're probably we're breaking a little bit of Spotify TOS here. Most likely YouTube. I doubt it. Probably yeah. not. Anyways, hey Doctor A, did you know that Damien has? <laughs> I don't Donovan know. wouldn't know that. I oh, hope. No, 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 no. Donovan's Anyways. been snooping a little more than we thought. Detached, se- detached. <laughs> 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 Wait, let me just, uh, I know no, 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 anyways, like. Zach and Black be like, <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't have some messages. I like to leave that Back in Black has its own personality. It does, and it's just me. Good. All right, um. Anyways, I won't, well, we're, we're, we are definitely all right now. We, are we going to tell me about our hostage? Oh, yeah, we got Brenda in the back seat. Oh. Also, we got a note, we'll read it back to you, something about Rodney Street Avenue. What, Rodney what, Street. what does the note say? You guys have it. Rodney Street. Here's the street. All Here, right. let me see it. Also, 14-something Rodney Street. Could you get a beat Rodney on that? Rodney made that joke. I'll make it again. It's not funny. I That's know. hilarious. I, I fully disagree. What? Anyways. We should lose inspiration for repeating jokes. Can we have the note no. so I can read it out to Dr. A? Anyways, the note reads, After the job, you will report to 1465 Rodney Street to assist in shipment of valuable goods. You are encouraged to kill any soft skins in capital S you encounter at any point. May our spirit create a brighter path. T B H. To be honest, 
Yeah. Huh. Oh, 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 right. That's. I don't. Can know. the DM uh, lose inspiration for repeating? Uh, Donovan Hill doesn't know texting lingo. Okay. So he doesn't know why you said to be honest. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know what any of that means, but I suppose that. Wait, what are you being honest about? Uh. Alright. You said to be honest. What? What are you being honest well, about? Well, TBH is an abbreviation for Sterling Town. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> anyway, are you? What are you doing now? What's your plan? You have Brenda in the car with you. Um, well, um... We would love to interrogate her! Well, we, we do plan Instead to... Of holding a gun. Interrogate her. <laughs> we, we do plan to interrogate her at some point, but I don't know if we should go to 1465 Rodney Street right now, or report back to you, because we do have a hostage in the car. Mm. Is someone keeping an eye on her? Oh yeah, I got my foot poised no. above her head! You look over and see Steve with his uh, earbuds in, still staring at... I also I also yeah. have uh, Master Puppets binding her to the ground. Yeah, she's taken care of. Uh. <laughs> yeah, something tells me. Um, okay, well, whatever you're planning on doing, um, just be careful. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to bring Brenda arena. back to the... I don't know if you'll be able to bring Brenda back to the... Um, the Feisty Falcon? The Feisty Falcon, because the walls are not soundproof. Oh. So, uh, maybe since you're outside of the city anyways, it could be best to... How about the fight arena? ...take care of that there. No. Well, the basement does have... There's not a fight tonight, and the walls are soundproof down there, actually. I guess you do have enhanced hearing, so that... It's, it's like... All, and, and Barman Halen's gonna be like... One sec. Fight arena? Oh, yeah, you don't know about that. Yeah, what? Fight arena? Fight club! Oh yeah, wait! I'm not supposed to talk about that. Uh, Damien and I, Damien and I, theoretically kicked out. Okay. We're not well, supposed to talk about it. You could take the, theoretically. You could go back and <laughs> hypothetically see there. Hypothetically, you Damien could go and I back to might have worn. You could go back to the feisty falcon and go down into the uh, fight arena, and that'd be pretty soundproof down there. The All hypothetical right. fight arena. Of course. Sounds yes. like a plan, I guess. Like okay. a hypothetical plan. <laughs> All right, I'm hanging up now. Bye, Doctor. Oh, okay, Just like bye. we're hypothetically going oh. to beat the shit out of Brendan. Man, we are charismatic. <laughs> Wahoo! Woo podcast. All right, uh, so... Oh, God. Woo podcast. You guys get back without any... Uh, More like podcast. You guys get back without any issue, but uh, Damien has now, a massive rod fall on him and instantly kill him. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, huh, wild. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. Um, Damn, that's crazy. You get back to the Feisty Falcon with... Uh-oh. No trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to believe that she woke up and Damien just like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, he would just... Fucking... Walk. Uh, she does not wake up during the car. Ride. If he rolls a one, if he rolls a 100, call me maybe appears out of nowhere and kills all of us instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anyway, you guys get back. Um, you guys are able to sneak her in without really any issue. Nope. She's still unconscious. Uh, she is currently... You guys are all currently down in the fight ring. It is totally empty. Uh, you see Guy actually sweeping the stuff down there. Oh, I love this room. It makes me feel powerful. Uh, you see you see Guy, and he's kind of standing there sweeping. Uh, uh, I can still smell Hi, Guy! While carrying a... Oh, I can still smell a slasher. Uh, Ugh. is, uh... You guys allowed in here right now? I have no... Uh, we have permission from, uh, Dr., uh... Dr. A. B. Dr. B. Dr. A. Dr. A. Doctor. The man upstairs. Doctor Ray. The doctor guy. Okay, hey, well, I'll go check and make sure with him. Uh, okay. Hold on, what's his well, name? I'm nowhere here at uh, least. Hold on, what's his name? Doctor. Doctor A. You told us his actual name. I don't okay. remember. Well, Doctor A is his name. Oh. Anyway, oh. Damien not very gently sets her down in the middle of the arena. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, if, um, if we use initial, uh... Tie her up, Lloyd! Blade up, he's just Dr. B. Uh, I mean, we could grab a chair so it's easier to restrain. Fine! He picks her up again, not very gently, grabs a chair and slaps her down into it. Alright. Cool. Now tie her up, Lloyd! Okay, so with one chain we have, uh... We have it wrapped around, like, the, uh, legs from the, uh, chair. And the other two are, for, are on the, uh, waist, including her arms. Oh, yeah. Uh... Um, oh God! Uh, uh, I don't have anything to do this with, so I guess Damien will just slap her to try and wake her up. <laughs> you could have Sterling use maybe a bit of uh, 
Hamon to try to bring her back up to we very could, small hit points. Um, but I kind of want to slap her. She's stable. <laughs> Do we? Uh, Damien slaps her. <laughs> so if we're out of combat, can I continuously use load as a torture technique? Yes. If you, um, I mean, you if are you, going if, to reduce the mental state if you in think that case. Not just her wisdom, not her intelligence. If you think violating the Eighth Amendment is pretty cool and sexy, go for it. He's a <laughs> vampire who kills people regularly the Eighth Amendment by the Eighth Amendment. draining that's, their that's life not force. Torture, that's just murder. That's well, this is illegal, but this it's is, not we are, breaking. We aren't the police force, so I'm not sure we I would, don't have to worry about the Eighth Amendment. I'm not sure I would describe draining life force as not cruel and unusual. Well... That's anyway, Damien unusual. slaps her. Okay, give Lord me a second. Lord in general is pretty um, cruel and unusual. Life. Steve is unusually quiet. <laughs> Steve is cruel and unusually quiet. Oh, Steve, you alright? I've just never really been in this scenario before. What, torturing a woman? I'm wanting to torture <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me. I Are you mean, implying that Donovan <laughs> Halen has? <laughs> no, I... No. <laughs> No, Don't no, Van no, no, Janice is the first woman I've talked to in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan Halen's an incel? No, he's not. He's just poor and antisocial. You're telling me of all the people he's mugged, he's never mugged a woman? No, he has, but he doesn't normally talk to them. He's a piece of pig. Steve was the first person he mugged. He's a pig. Pie. Right. Okay. Uh, you guys, you just, Sterling, he, I assume, wait, is going to bring her back. Mike, I'm so sorry. I said Damien slaps her. Like, he does this good people. Okay. Like, hey, nice wall. Just takes it. Roll to wake Damien up. slaps her, and she is no longer stable. <laughs> <laughs> now Sterling can bring her back. <laughs> Sterling is going to bring her back. Don't torture people. Yep. I use advanced interrogation techniques. <laughs> Sterling comes back and immediately sees you all and starts to... You mean Brenda. Brenda. Mixing up the names a lot. Brenda tries to get up Women. and tries to... <laughs> Women. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, I made uh, that joke stop. Oh, no. It wasn't funny when Donovan made it. It was a little funny. The more you juggle, the tired this is going to get. I don't like those words. <laughs> Damien stands like menacingly words. over her, his shadow blocking out the light. Do I Hi know? there, little child! Mm. Ah! Can I roll intimidation? <laughs> Use the hog, like, point it out. I think this would be a pretty good... You can roll with... You can succeed. Your okay. <laughs> Just yeah. have the hog pointed at him. Yeah, sure. Now, actually, no. He's going to pull up Blood Rain and just hold it casually over her. That's oh. a really big sword, isn't it? We've got some questions for you, lass. Wait uh -oh. a minute. I have an idea. Uh, we don't need, we, she does not need to know where we are, even if she figures it out. Um, I'm get, Don in the hand is going to take off his trench coat like... Floosh it up and make like a dome of shadow. Can you do that? Yeah, you can do okay. that. Okay. I'll give you a point of inspiration for that. Oh, cool. around him so she doesn't know where she is. Plus, spooky dark room. Cool. That's actually pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We've got some questions for you, lass. Oh, okay. Poggers. I don't really think you're going to get anything, but you can ask what you will. Steve walks up uh, right in front of her. Uh, You in the dome? Yeah. Yes. I so. Yeah, we're all there. I'm with How big is the dome? Hey. Like I said, horrible taking women, Steve. Who's going to ask the questions? Uh, I'm just here to be uh, the advanced interrogation technique man. All right, I have a plus two to charisma. Move over. Because <laughs> okay. Damien has... Can I roll intimidation to ask questions? Oh, yeah. This is uh, probably the intimidation. Yeah, I, think, I think I can do this. I'm going to help. I'll be, the good, okay. I'll be the good cop, I guess. So, who might you be working for? You want, um, you want a glass of water? That's not really my... What did you... You want a glass of water? You want a water? glass of water. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not bad cop. Go I, ahead and roll uh, roll intimidation to ask. Can I have advantage? <laughs> if you spend a point of inspiration? Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, that's fine. Intimidation is plus charisma? Mm-hmm. Plus your proficiency bonus, because if you're proficient. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Wow, real big man with a real big Damien sword. Damien nods at Lloyd really, to use load. I bet you're really compensating for... Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna ask you again! No, I can let me try. Okay, you can try it. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch off. I think I'll try this time. Let me let me, let me me keep her keep track of her wisdom score real quick, because currently she's at 14. Uh, Donovan is gonna take a step towards her. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is roll intimidation. 
All right, that's. Uh, I'm gonna roll a 17. Step towards her, unsheath the rapier a little bit, press it against her neck. I think I'll ask this. So she's time, got a rapier man. and blood rain. Uh, uh, she is over considerably her. more frightened of Donovan <laughs> Halen, like right from the get-go. Who do you work for, ma'am? Uh, that's, that's so much for good cop. <laughs> not really um, your business to ask now, is it? Damien uh, nods at Lloyd again. Uh, uh, well, when you well when you threaten to kill my cousin, it becomes my business, and I Steve, press in a, I press in a little more. Steve steps forward. How'd you like to lose a bit more of your sight there? I don't really need Steve it at steps this point. Forward. She needs the sight. Uh, we got a scare. <laughs> Brenda. If as soon as you start talking, she summons Mr. Brightside and tries to take a swing at you. Okay. Can I use so, a uh, really? Can I use a because re- in can that I, case, can she I, has two swords poised over her. Mm-hmm. Uh, is okay. that an attack of opportunity, pretty much? She's also. We're no, pre- we are prepped to attack her. I think we can use this as a reaction. I, I agree. I would say. We'll cut into her a little bit yeah, I'm as just, she does that. I am gonna try to on uh, her neck to try to throw off the concentration. And you have advantage because she's restrained. Yeah, uh, I'm and not. I'm not going to cut her. I'm gonna use the curved part to like yank her neck a little. Damien's going to press him with the sharp side into her neck a little bit. Yeah, Brenda tries to take a swing at you. Uh, how does a fifteen sound? Uh, that hits superstition. Okay, so that's gonna be a, a uh, pretty solid amount of damage. <laughs> Should we bother being an initiative at this point? Okay. No. This is like a reaction. Eight. For right. Eight damage. Eight. Stand bludgeoning. Stand bludgeoning, so that's <clears throat> equivalent to five. Okay. Can I roll a d4 to see how much damage I do by pressing a sword into her neck? <laughs> yeah. Can I get, can I'll, I get a couple? I'll just roll a d4. I'm not doing a lot of power to it. I guess I'll let him do it first. Uh, four damage. Ah, she's got four hit points right now. All right, she's, listen. Uh, you you do do that it. again, and I will not hesitate to take what little... To take what I'm sure is what little You're, will you have left. I'm going You're to not really in a again. situation to fight here, lassie. I I admire your spirit. Can I... We, 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 we don't compliment the... No, get, hold on a second. You guys are really good at this, aren't you? <coughs> I want to figure this out. I, I just want to know... Why did you focus to come to me? And target me. You were an easy target. Just a number I could knock off my list. You weren't a threat in the slightest. Alright, uh, we're gonna ask you one more time. Um, mm-hmm. from, from the hit you were taking from her earlier out in the field, I'd say it was a pretty big threat. <coughs> Did you like the taste of baseball bat of curiosity? Mm. We're gonna ask you this one more time. Mm-hmm. He's still pressing it into the now wound. Who are you working for? Can I can I help him out by just you know sticking my hand? Can you tighten the chains? Using my vampire thing to help with his intimidation. Yeah, you like. Okay, and she it. like. I guess I'll do an intimidation roll. Mm-hmm. You have uh, resistance. Your, yes. Make insight. Make an insight check. Insight check. Mm-hmm. Dominion has backed off a little bit, of course. Uh, insight is based on what? Wisdom. Uh, well, I have a plus one now because I used load. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Well, plus one on top of plus a uh, seventeen. You notice that uh, you slip your hand into her neck, and she recognizes how threatening that is. But she doesn't just recognize like, "Oh, this is freaky." She's like, "Oh, I know what this is." Is uh, is that advantage to me since he said he was helping me with it, or is that his own thing? Okay, it's advantage. she knows about the undead. Um, that's going to be a fifteen to intimidation. Fifteen to intimidation. Okay, and she's gonna try to. Yep, you intimidate her. Okay. Answer the question. Please. Thank you, Stevie. TBH. Oh, great. And what does that stand for? Wouldn't you like to know, Gravity Boy? As a matter of fact, I would. David. Just to piss her off, just because she's pissed me off by mentioning my ability, I'll add 60 pounds to her weight. <laughs> Which isn't very comfortable considering she's chained up. On the contrary, Brenda, we would like to know. Our lives are at stake here. You're one of the people who made that happen, you know? And as it stands, your life is currently. Yeah, your life stage. is at stake too. I don't really know a lot, but I know that whatever I tell you, you're all best just getting out of this city. 
None of you are directly in danger. Unless you... try to fight them. We're not letting your group attack this city. Our families are here. Or some of our families, at least. You have no idea the resources this organization commands. You... Listen. When you live in this city for about 19 years, and for most of it you have to fight for yourself, you tend to get a pretty good understanding of how desperate people can be. There's a shadow. I have no idea where I'm going this one second. <laughs> so. Time. Steve does the whole, like, shadow eyes thing. No, no, I am. Now, as it stands, I have finally gained some forward progress in my life. And the fact that this, the fact that whoever you're working for is putting that in jeopardy doesn't exactly make me very happy. So I don't, so quite frankly, I have no say what we do with you. I'm going to leave that up to the man with the hand around your neck. So either you well, can this choose soft a... soft skin, I don't think I'm afraid of him. Ah, soft skin. Ah. Funny how your windpipe is, uh pretty close to my index finger. It'd be a shame if anything happens. You're just gonna have to kill me then. I oh, we can do a lot to you wall. before we kill you. Hey, wait one second. Oh, he, he takes out his little thingy How'd and feeds it again. Sorry about that. Smooth Anyways. skin for the rest of your life. That's gross. Hmm. What uh, I took out my uh, Tamagotchi and fed it again in the middle of all this. Sorry, one second. It's a jarring uh, bright purple as well. Sorry about that one minute. Anyway, sorry. Narfles, Doing real good in this Nar intimidation. Narfles thing. was hungry. Let's get back to business. I'm not real gonna tell you anything else about my organization, but what are your hobbies? We do share one common enemy. <laughs> hmm. And who's that? Yes. The smooth skins. The soft skins. This thing. Are you? Um, Does he use lotion? Do you know about the soft skins? Are you referring to vampires? Wait a minute, hold on. I suppose. Oh, a while ago, I encountered a few, um... I'm gonna roll a history check to see no, if... No, I... you're not. No, I'm not. Yeah, I don't think we know what this means. You're going to, uh... A while ago, we encountered a few... <clears throat> Hound Dog and I. Encountered a few, uh, people who were ripping a corpse apart and eating it. We killed them and found these gold coins on them. You've done some look into their organization. Cherry wine. You wouldn't happen to be talking about these gold coins. I was, I was, that's that, 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 that what I was rolling for, but that idea. Those are the ones. Mm. We've good. encountered some of these. I thought good. they were associated with you, considering we found a bag that was very similar to yours. No. Probably the corpse they were ripping apart, maybe. Honestly, um, TBH hates those things, and we'd like... That's our secondary objective, is to remove them from Interesting. This world. What's your primary objective, then? I assume killing us. Not necessarily. Probably not. All right, she, I'm, said, she said that we weren't Let's move this along. Threat. Have you ever... Oh, oh frick this. Uh, he, he takes out his pistol and jams it right into her temple. Have you ever heard of Agent Clementine? <sighs> He's one of the higher-ups in the organization. He's, uh... He's one of his lieutenants. His? TBH? His, his, capital H. His, capital hmm. I don't know who is he is. Is that what the H stands for in TBH? Write that <coughs> down. Is TBH the name of your organization or your leader? I don't think she's going to be too keen on telling us that. We can fix that. Uh, she, she has four health points, man. <laughs> it's uh, like a turn We can load her. I could turn her into a zombie. That will not And what was anything. that primary objective that you mentioned? A brighter future. A brighter path. Ah, oh, good. For our spirits. Electricity has already been invented, idiot. Uh, Steve I don't like the sound of that. I'm, I'm sometimes very good at this, sometimes not. I apologize. Steve is going to look at Brenda again. Why do you feel the need to do this? Yeah, what's your stake in this? My stake? I've never had anyone treat me like a family before, but... Ryan, hmm. Daniel, Hound Dog. They took me in. They took care of me. Uh, as she's saying this, Donovan Halen uh, kind of like, he definitely loosens a bit. That hits home to him just quite a... They were the only ones who treated me like a family. 
TBH is the only family I've ever known. They're the better people. Shit. This world needs to better be filled people. with better people. Superiority, then. Yeah. <laughs> you see yourselves above the rest of humanity? I'm not a fan of that. See yourselves isn't quite accurate. It's pretty objective. Look, isn't he's, it? that's really insensitive. He's blind. What are right. we talking about seeing here? Oh, he's superior too. He has nothing to worry about other than the fact that he's a soft skin. He would be more than welcome in this new world of ours. Uh, on Can that just, like, note, drain a point of hit yeah. points from uh, uh, On that note, Donovan Halen uh, puts his gun away and kind of like sits back a little. One minute. What do we want to do with her? Uh, Steve continues staring. Well, we're not good killers. We could use an extra hand. We're not. Mm, good I don't think me. she's going to help she's us. She's not going to be too. Well, I mean, us. if I. So zombie creation. This is out of character. Mm-hmm. Does that enthrall them to me? Mm-hmm. Alright. I could enthrall her. I don't like the sound of that. She won't be against Before you us can anymore. finish your sentence, Steve looks at her, you see superstition come through her chest. Uh it. <laughs> Oh, murderous intent. <laughs> oh. And that's all that you hear from her. Steve? Jesus Christ. What the hell did you just do? I couldn't take it. Can no. I post-mortem? No. You can do it post-mortem? I could still enthrall her. She'll keep her personality. You could bring her, you could bring her back as a zombie. Um, She'll still be I a I guess bitch. that's a better option. Uh, Donovan Hill has the whole black eyes thing. He dispels the dome. Steve, you're going home. Steve. Take a th- walk. That's not something that you can just... Steve d- d- pretty d- much Damien? just shuts down. Damien? Like, he won't respond to anyone. We're, we're going home. You can't forget doing something like that. We're going home, kid. Alright, I could. I, so you two are leaving? I could. Uh, I'm gonna back, try to get him to leave. Sterling she examines the wound and there's she nothing. She will be a creature of the night. Sterling walks over and St- examines the Don't make a zombie out of Brenda, bro. There's nothing that nothing Sterling can do. Damien I, does not look happy about it, but he just nods to Lloyd. That's a better option than this, I suppose. Alright, I turn her into a zombie. Okay, I believe that costs energy, right? Uh, I do not know, but if it does, that's still a risk I'm willing to take, even if it makes them level four still. Um, it costs five energy. <clears throat> All right. So that means I'll be down to forty-eight XP. Mm-hmm. But that does mean that we can still get questions in, mm-hmm. and it means we won't be. We would technically still be murderers, but basically not. Hey, out of character, can I have one of the coins? Like, not the cherry one, but one of the shrew ones. You'll have to ask the Damien. silver coins. Damien has them both right now. Damien, can, um, I, can I see one of those coins? All right. As you, as you uh, put it into her, um, there is, like, a little bit of silence, and then suddenly you see the flesh, like, stretch back across, and the wound begin to sew itself together in this unnatural, unnerving fashion. It's like every individual strip of flesh is moving like <clears throat> a da- snake. Damien turns away, holding his gut. Steve, I mean, uh, Donovan like looks it. behind and kind I of, I take like, my fingers out of her neck and just... Just kind of breathing Lloyd. heavily. What the hell did you just do? I gave her some of my life. She competent? <laughs> I guess in this scenario, I could call that noble. Noble. Let me look at something real quick. I don't. I look. I, I don't. I think what he just gave us a face worse than death. We can still kill her. She still has the same effects as I do to sunlight. Into uh, what, whoever's what? dearly. How did that get? How did that better you? That doesn't better me. Then why did you? But it better's us as a whole because <sighs> does basically, she, does we she didn't remember her? Can she remember? Is she competent? Is she stable? <sighs> and d- does she have a stand in this form? She. I think they retain the stand. No, not no. as a zombie. No. Really? Okay. Do um, I eventually get like a chance to her upgrade flesh, them as like, I do get upgrades? As you as you bring her back, her flesh like immediately like shrinks in a little bit as some of it's taken in order to repair the wound that was da- the wound that was done into her. And um I'm gonna make a con save. She like shudders unnaturally. Yeah, cool, I'm fine. She looks over, every individual bone in her vertebrae snaps as she goes to look at you. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. I don't like this. Can you still uh, speak? I don't know. Steve, yeah. we're going, Steve, we're going home. We're not looking at that. What's wrong? I feel better than I have in years. Donovan, Donovan, Donovan Halen. Uh, as soon as she says that, uh, Superstition once again just goes right for her, <laughs> through her neck. 
decapitating Wait, her. hold on. Jesus uh, fucking Frank, can I just Steve, as, can I say something as a Steve reaction since I'm right next to him? Perhaps. Before can, that can happen, I want to have back him about reach out and grab the tail to stop it from going forward. That would be an opportunity attack. So if you can try to grapple. All right, let's you do that. Do a grapple as an attack. I guess you'll contest. Can it. I use? I'm glad I contest it. Can I use my stand? Uh, uh, a son of a. My nat wanted. I just. Do oh. you want to use your inspiration? Uh, on this, this would be a really good character moment. So I think I will. Can I? Okay. Use my You're gonna have to roll pretty high because I got to, uh, uh, 21. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna roll another nat one. I so succeed. really? Yeah, I'm not. It's fine. I'm cool. Yeah, you try to grab superstition, but it's too slippery, so it just goes through the neck and uh. You see the head uh, grin a little bit as it uh, slumps back down. Uh, now that, well, actually it's not dead. It just is unable to speak, so it just kind of grins there and attempts to rip itself from the Steve, rest of the Steve, I was trying to get some more answers out of her. Uh, She's not enthralled to me. She will Steve grabs his me. bat and walks over. A spurt of Damien blood. Damien puts it. Damien puts a hand on Steve's shoulder and Master of Puppets, and, back. and I'm going to try to hold the bat. So one of us will do an assist, yeah, uh, an assist grapple, I guess. Somehow it seems like Brenda isn't really going anywhere, so she kind of just like slumps and falls on the ground and continues. Steve goes to, for an like, attack verbally. on the head. I'm grappling you. Okay. I'm also assisting the grapple. Uh, yeah, Donna, so. Donovan Halen's, I don't think you have to roll for that. I'm pretty yeah, sure okay. you're able yeah, to Donovan contain Halen's outfit gets a shade darker. The three of you are able to contain Steve pretty effectively, and Brenda... Uh, At sits Steve, on the we're ground. going to have a long talk a after a few moments. Gurgling. Steve just stops moving and just sits down, and that's that. If you can't handle doing this, you can leave. I'm already taking him home. As for me, I'm going to have to try to figure out how to repair this one. I might leave you to that. I don't want to be here for this. It's pooling up on the floor. It's just this big puddle of unnaturally dark blood that's just slowly extending into the fight ring. Am Damon I, holds his gut again and shudders. Am I able to do anything about this? Um, it, it would be able to heal very slowly. Uh, zombies heal at a rate of double that of humans, but because it's not dead, it can still technically heal. Okay. So if you're able to get it enough energy sustainably, you can heal it back up to full. Or you could heal it enough so that it gets back up. I'd say around five energy you could use to pretty much instantly repair the wound. So, if I do this, I'd essentially only gain three energy throughout this whole situation. Yes. But we could still get answers out of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Can, uh, can we take <clears throat> Steve home? I'm, I'm taking Steve home. Out of character, real quick. Yeah. If also, if you want, to, we want to go ahead and kill her. We can use uh, Doctor A's stand to. Uh, understand what happened. I'm that, that will only that, give us the last hour, right? Which, last which hour. we will just be our for. battle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will be taking Steve home personally. Good. Can you? Um, hmm? Do you think you can use your construct to gauze up her neck? Yes. That will actually allow it. So you only need one or two stand energy to actually have a function. Uh, I'm going upstairs. I don't want a part of this evil art. Uh, Donovan Halen just kind of like. Um, Opens up his hat, back and black reaches through, and like just takes out like a really long, like kind of like a uh, sewing thing. It kind of like sews her neck back up. Mm-hmm. This went very poorly. Very. Damien, quickly. as much as you as don't you like as this, you come I down and reach for her, she like this. angrily gnashes, but she's unable to move anything. So can she even see my stand anymore? Uh, no, no, she cannot. Oh, you're using your stand, so she can't do anything. She yeah. just gnashes at you, but she can't. She can't reach you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use. Um, Damien Sterling, has left. Sterling is yes. leaning in the corner, um, watching. She's. It doesn't look like she's planning on leaving, but it doesn't look like she's planning if on she, saying anything either. If Brenda still can't talk, I will use uh, whatever energy I need to make her at least vocal. You can spend two to make her vocal again. Okay. All right. You guys are heading out, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to roll? Do you want to play that little interaction? Yes. Or? What do you mean, play that? Oh, okay. Uh, talk to you a little bit. I'm just kind of like grabbing, taking you by the shoulder. Uh, gently, gently, but firmly, as Donovan Halen tends to be sometimes. Mm-hmm. And what is um, what is Damien doing? I assume he's going up and getting a drink. Yes, he is going up the bar. Is Nancy there? Mm-hmm. Nancy actually heard a lot of that go down. Yeah, he's going to order like a tame drink, but a, a drink nonetheless to take his mind off this. And when uh, when Lloyd's done she, interrogating um, Brenda, he's going to go up and just talk to she. Him. Uh, Gives him the remote and doesn't say anything or ask him for a charge or anything. She just sets it in front of him. Thank you. She's kind of sound about it. She nods. Shade eyes. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, about like halfway through the commute home, now I'm hitting finally just like pipes up a little. All right, I am not going to go too deep into this, but I would like to say that we need to keep a bit of a lid on that very apparent temper of yours. I don't, I don't need to know why you did it. I just need you to promise me that you won't do something like that again unless you tell one of us, all right? Steve stops walking. He stops walking? He mm. just breaks. Does he, like, collapse and cry? Or? For everyone at home, he just collapsed onto his knees, so he's leaning forward. Um, Steve, go ahead and roll a charisma save. Okay. Uh, Donovan, of course, like, he walks, like, a little bit more, uh, turns around and kneels down next to him. Uh, 20, dirty. Okay, um, you're not crying, but your tears are kind of welling up in your eyes, but you're fighting it back. All right, look, Did you just roll another nat 20? No, you're no, like, dirty 20. 19 oh, plus one. dirty 20. I, oh. I heard 20, 30. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right, listen. You've had a you've had a rough couple of days. This is a lot more stress than. I don't know why I did that. Okay, look, I get away from me. Okay, I just I heard what she was saying and I, I couldn't take it. All right. So she had a family. Why did? Oh, I messed up. I'm gonna make a Christmas saving throw real quick here. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Roll with disadvantage. Two. Roll with. It doesn't get much disadvantage in two. He crit fails and <laughs> bursts out of tears. Out. I'm still gonna start crying. Donovan Halen kind of was like, <sighs> "It's um." I will say, you guys are still on the street. There's a few people walking by, but you guys are underneath a street lamp, so it's a very aesthetic setting. Steve has collapsed on the ground. Donovan Halen's got a shoulder over him. The light's um, coming down. He's, um, he's very much crying. He goes, people are walking and it seems slow motion. Ah, it's a JoJo guys. poster moment. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, honestly. Okay. You just hear whimpering. Alright. So, right. We fade to black. Alright. You guys get back to the house. Okay. And um, your dad's still up. He's like, hey, you're back later than usual. You alright? You... Oh, she's over it now. Uh, yeah, just you know, going around the city. No, he's gonna roll. Your dad's gonna roll insight. Roll he's deception. He's not very good at that. He's one roll, of the perceptors. Roll deception. <laughs> deception. He's a, yep. he's a master perceptor. Yeah. Varsity uh, perception. Let's see, that's going to be uh, charisma plus proficiency, so that's gonna be fifteen. Okay. Proficient deception. Yes. Uh, wow. That's I, actually. I, I put a. I added a point in intelligence and then decided I would do. Oh, I'm proficient. His eyes, uh, I'm proficient in intimidation. I didn't know that. His eyes like shine really? over once, and then he's yeah. like twenties. Okay. Um. All right. Um. I mean, I I I made some more dinner since your mom isn't doing super well. So if you boys want, there's some lasagna in the fridge. Um. <laughs> Oh, I fuck you. Donovan Halen wordlessly just like hangs up his <laughs> hangs up his hangs up his door and sets his umbrella aside and just like kind of like, looks down. All of the just... Garfield undertones in this <laughs> house. We gotta stop. It's a Monday. <laughs> no, it's Monday. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Steve's Monday. It's the name of the episode. <laughs> no, it's no. no, it's a Saturday. We can't do this. It's a Saturday. It's, 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 it's a Monday. Monday. It's a Monday. We it's a just Monday. got out of a Sunday. Oh, right? there's true. Went to church. Oh god. <laughs> I hate Monday. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for pointing that We out. ruined all the version, all the Tennessee <laughs> Man of one line about lasagna. <laughs> you just had to mention lasagna. <laughs> Anyways, Donovan Hayden's going to wordlessly, of course, hang up the door, put his thing inside, go, I'm going to bed. And then just like walks wherever he sleeps. Okay. Same uh, with Steve. Steve's going to bed as well, without a word. Your father, um, you see him sit down in the recliner and, uh, he pulls out a pipe and lights it and just kind of sits there and thinks for a bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, wait, Lloyd, back to the Damien Damien drinks himself to sleep, just so you know. Okay. Um, you fall asleep on the bar, but this time, um, you don't, you don't necessarily feel it, but you feel like a little shift at a certain point, and, um, you feel a blanket cover you, and a little pillow is slipped underneath your head, so. You better than Guy or Carl or someone. <gasps> All right. Lloyd, back now. to this. 
what do you know about this person? What person? You know, the person who him. was <laughs> who's ordering Clementine around. Oh, him? I don't know anything about him. All I know that he's... Well, he was like a god to me, but you, you all, you are so much greater. Your oh, power is immense. Oh, good. Uh, you... you got a simp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead simp time. <laughs> um, what is simp the, with a where, was the, where was the uh, street? Uh, Rodney the Street, 1406, I think, or something. Yeah. 1496? What, what? Someone has the note. I don't know. It, it's, it's right there. On Rodney Street. Huh? That's how close oh. I. 1465. What's going on in 1465, Ronnie Street? I don't know. Yeah, they wouldn't know that. That note was for them. Oh. They didn't get it. Alright. I got a note in a, uh... There was a note in a body. It was talking about a 1465. Well, not talking about a 1465, but it gave a thing of coordinates that we went to. Me and Hound Dog. And, uh... The late Hound Dog. God, Hound Dog is so big. I bet he had so much blood in him. Regardless, some of it's actually in you now. Surprisingly enough, <laughs> it's the same. That's where he got the energy from. God, yeah. Uh, but um, we went there. We went to the location. And we saw you all there. I traveled as I usually do with Hound Dog inside of Heartbreak Hotel. It's very spacious in there. In fact, I bet if you slashed the wall, there'd be a bunch of blood that poured out. Poggers. Do you know the significance of the vase that we were sent to get? The vase, the vase, the vase. I don't know. I know it's an intrig- it's an integral part of his plan. All that I know is that it's going to lead us to a brighter path. Were you sent to grab any more specific artifacts? Mm, nothing in particular. Why? Do they not have anything about that? No. Huh. I'm just trying to get a grasp of the situation. <sighs> Do you know anything about this vase? The vase? I don't know anything about a vase. Well, like I said, it's an integral part of the plan, but other than that, I don't know anything about it. He won't tell us, but we know that it'll lead us to a brighter future. You could ask about the names of other members that you might know. That could be useful. Well, we know Brian and Daniel now. Brian and Daniel. Ryan. Do you I know write, the stands for Brian and Daniel? No. Well, that's Ryan and Daniel. Ryan. Yes. Ryan. Uh, Ryan's stand is, um... Ryan's stand is counting stars. It's, a Ooh. frankly, a beautiful, soft purple stand. It's got numbers that start on one finger and travel all the way down to the other side. And it's, hmm. uh... He's a bit of a dick, but, uh, he's pretty cool when you want to get high as fuck. His ability, what is it? Uh, well, it's the same name, counting stars. It just allows you to see so much more in the universe. That does sound like a fun ability to get high with. Puts you on a scale. It lets you remember how significant you really are. Hmm. Uh, Alright, and this other stand user. Oh, Daniel. Uh, Daniel's pretty secretive about his stand, but I've at least figured out that it's named Magnum Bullets. It, um... Magnum Dog. Shut up. Yeah, he's he's a huge gun nut, and so when he became um, yes, huge a stand nuts. user, his stand kind of revolved around that. But that's really all I know about it. Okay, watch out for guns, <laughs> counting stars. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a funny. Watch out for guns. <sighs> We're done for now. <sighs> what are we gonna do with her? <laughs> Brenda looks over at Sterling. No. Can I eat her? No, absolutely not. What if I really want to? No. Okay, but concept. I really want to eat her. If you want your brain destroyed, I can go ahead and do that now. Ooh. Alternative idea. I eat her. <laughs> <laughs> we Alternative do need idea. Something take a step to closer her. to her, I and do, I'll I like crying, Brenda. You. I love zombie Brenda. Yes. <laughs> We need she to she looks down and somewhere. notices her blood on the ground and starts licking it up. Ooh, gross. Yep, nice. This isn't mine, I'm just taking it back, gosh. 
see crime. Crime. Is there crime are there any cages down. around or like anything that dog would just keep her from like beware of dogs? People? Just Brenda in a cage. You don't sleep. Do besides, you? besides my enthrallment on her. You don't sleep, do you? Uh, you? You could just master a puppet's chainer down for the night. Yeah, but like, that's a lot of work, especially since I'm not just gonna keep her on a leash. It'd be really funny, though. I hated the soft skin so much, but my skin doesn't really feel very soft, does it? And she breaks her own hand and kind of cracks it back into place. She takes her shoulder and... <laughs> All right. Well, what now? Can I go eat that big guy upstairs? Absolutely not. Or if I really want to. Before you know it, your head will be clean off your body and there'll be blood all over the place. Ooh, Which of us will do that? I don't know, but it'll happen. Blood all over the place would be really good. It'll be your blood. Oh, slightly less good. <laughs> Only slight. Only slightly. Alright, so we what have... are we going to do with her? Yeah, we have to well, figure out what we're going to do with her. We have no particular reason to keep Brenda unless anyone else would have questions for her. I could just let Sterling do whatever she wants with Brenda. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Say, Sterling, what do you think I should do with her? I think we should kill her. No good could come of her. Well, I can use her as a, uh, as a wisdom or as a, a sensory drain. What if she gets out? She's enthralled to me. I mean, I don't trust it. I know I'll be fine, but I certainly wouldn't want a zombie Damien coming after me. Ooh. <sighs> Crime Damien, oh no. Alright, I'm going to... I've thrown away my humanity, Steve. <laughs> I'm going to wrap my chains just around her. What are you... You what are you threw doing? away my humanity, Steve. Uh oh. I pulled out my gun. What are you doing? But I. <sighs> just leave her tied up in the basement for now. Yes, in the fight club? <laughs> she could be an opponent. If someone beats her to death, who cares? I'd like to point out the guy at this point. Uh, I thought he wasn't still in the room. No, he wasn't. He was going to ask Dr. A, but he comes back now. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, he comes back down, sees what's happening, and he's like, okay, and he walks right back. <laughs> <sighs> might, see, might have seen Damien asleep at the counter. Oh, yeah, he saw Damien asleep at the counter. Was he the one who put the blanket and all that over? Who knows? Oh. Mystery. Mystery. All right. Removing my mask is a form of sentiment. I put my gun to the back of her head. With a, with one shot, I'm going to destroy her brain. Okay, you do so. It splatters across the ground, the sound resonating. Damien wakes up for a little bit. <clears throat> and he falls back asleep. You hear some shouting, and then um, you see Abel and Carl. Carl in a set of striped pajamas, and uh, Abel is wearing like a pretty decent shirt. He doesn't seem to have gone to sleep Yeah, you yet. need a silencer. <laughs> I do need a silencer, yes, but... As it stands, I kind of just needed to end it. Yeah. And I didn't want to risk her being out. Yeah. Especially at night, because she could just find shade. Carl yeah. looks and pretty immediately understands, and Abel does not. <laughs> Abel's like, what? what? What happened here? What's what's going on? What is... I... I don't... I... Um, when I said hey, what's going on? Right after I, like, shot I her, said, I'm hey, put my mask I'm back on. I'm gonna beat you to death. Oh. Carl walks over and just kind of sighs he what do we do now there are two other stand users one who has a stand by the name of uh, counting stars. stars counting stars uh, fuck what was his name again magnum bullets uh, the, 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 the guy magnum but the stand the guy with the Ryan. Ryan. counting stars uh, his name's Ryan. Ryan can we call Ryan. him magnum nuts no it, it's not how his, funny it would be it would be really uh, funny but at the same time and then uh, there's another stand user by the name of David, and all we know Daniel. about Daniel. Dan fucking sorry, I'm not great with names. I wrote it down. Daniel, uh, with the stand. Magnum, Magnum bullets. bullets. Magnum bullets. And he likes the guns. He's a gun nut, but that's all we know. And even Brenda here didn't even know. Was Hound Dog um Zach's opposite? Hmm. Was Hound Dog Zach's opposite? It would have worked well because Hound Dog was an opposite. Stand. 
Hound Dog was an opposite for uh, no one, actually. Hound Dog wasn't an opposite. Um, well, he would have worked well against I us. apologize for waking you two up. Uh, I did what had to be done. I don't I don't understand what's going on. And Carl walks over. Abel. Someone just tell Abel to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain to you in a bit, Abel. Come on, let's go upstairs for now and get a drink or something. All when right. They, when they leave, I'm just going to absorb whatever I can from okay. the blood. You don't get a lot. Um, You get... Uh, five energy back. Five energy back? It's mm. some return. I just mixed up a purple moon and the spy theme from TF2, so instead of hearing, you know, his, like, whole, it was... Oh, my God. And so, like, wait, that's not right. Ty, out, out of character, for a second, I just hope you're ready to explain this to Steve. That's all. Anyway. Okay. The zombie thing? Steve no. doesn't really need to <laughs> know. Uh, he doesn't all right. need to. I'm just saying. Uh, speaking of need to know and all that, this sounds like a great time to end the episode. Yeah, Woo! that was a that was a heavy episode. Ooh, yeah, it was. Oh, all right. Uh, Talk to y'all okay, later. okay, no, be that heavier. God, that you're was, welcome. That was on par with how heavy part five could be.